Customers and competitors, you want to understand your competitors. Competitive research is the backbone of a strong marketing strategy. You got to know what they're doing. Sometimes we lack inspiration. We don't know what to talk about. We don't know what content to put out. Raise your hand if you don't know. Sometimes, what should I talk about? I don't even know what to talk about. Come on, be honest. All right, that's fine. It happens to me too, and I talk a lot, trust me. If you can't identify your competitors and their marketing tactics, you'll struggle to differentiate yourself and your product from the crowd. So that's a very important point. So you can see over here, um, I, I put the details on it. This is actually Jesus filled this all, all out. Small to medium-sized businesses who want to increase their revenue, they want to grow their business, that's who my audience is, by using social media and e-commerce, and they want to generate leads, and they do it themselves until they can afford an outside agency. We're looking for those people. Um, to give an example of somebody that's a client of ours, competitors, uh, we, we have all these guys over here that are marketers that, um, that are trying to do the same thing that I am doing. People that I can learn, and they can learn from me, and then, Competition is a very healthy thing, right? Without it, um, the world wouldn't be the same thing. So understanding those competitors. Now, I want to show you guys something very quickly. We're moving well. Okay, we got 30 more minutes. We got, I got time to spare. So I'm going to show you guys something quickly here so you, got, you guys can understand this whole competitor process. Because if you do not, if you have not understood that you have competitors, if you haven't actually yet uh, made a list of all your competitors. That should be one of the first things that you do because that's going to give you the inspiration that you need to get started, especially with the ones that are, you know are doing well. You want to know how to find them and you want to know how to actually um, get going yourself and start doing similar things with your own touch. You don't have to plagiarize people. All you got to do is get inspired. And I'm going to show you one hot place to get super inspired with this. So. You open up Mr. Google. You guys all know Mr. Google. It's a really good friend of all of us. He knows answers that you wouldn't even imagine in your wildest dreams. This guy knows it all, and he can give you the answers very fast. So check this out. All right, this was not part of the script, but if I search Facebook ad library, raise your hand if you would like to know what all brands that are important to you, that are competitors of yours, what they're doing exactly on social media. Raise your hand if you'd like to know. Raise your hand if you know that you can do that. Raise your hand if you know that you can do that. All right? Raise your hand if you know how to do that exactly. Okay, good. Re Jesus, thank you for raising your hand. Jesus is Jesus, uh, feeling bright today. Okay, so let's see. Facebook ad library. Google Facebook ad library, right? You're going to search for this? Okay. So the first result, first result is the ad library. What is this? This is what Facebook calls full transparency. Because of the Cambridge Analytica scandal that happened a couple of years ago, Facebook had to go far and beyond and because of the whole elections drama that has happened also over the years, Mark Zuckerberg being in, in, uh, in, in, in Congress, being questioned because of everything that has happened, they said, you know what? We're going to open up. We're going to let you see anything. It doesn't matter what it is. But even if you're a political um, individual, you can also see what other advertisers are spending on political campaigns. Everything is in there, all right? So anybody wants to tell me a competitor of theirs? Volunteer. Who has a competitor? Master odor removal. Say again? Master odor removal. Master odor removal. removal. I'm sure they probably have a Facebook page, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. So this is the ad library, guys. Anything that is being advertised on Facebook or Instagram is going to be accessible there. Anything videos, images, copy, whatever. Even the ads that they ran in the past, all of it is there. So if you're looking for inspiration, you don't know what kind of videos to make, you have somebody that works for your brand and they create graphics and you don't know what the heck and they don't know what to do, you got your place to get them inspired, all right? So let's see. Um, United States, 
ad category, let's go ahead and leave this at all ads. You can do, for example, you can see here, you can do employment, credit, housing, issue selection. No, I want to do all of it. And uh, I can search by keyword or advertiser. For example, if I sell landscaping, like land crafter right here, I just search for landscaping. And anybody that has a landscaping page is going to show up over here. So let's go ahead and search for master odor. Master odor. Anybody wants to guess what that business does? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got it. Okay, Baltimore rug and carpet cleaning. Okay, so it says, uh, all right, related, not exactly master auto removal, but attention homeowners, my name is James and I'm offering an amazing deal to get your dirty, disclosed, discolored rug. Wow, interesting. All right, let's try a little bit more. Master auto removal. Okay, there's pages over here. Uh, advertisers. 11 more advertisers. Does it look like any of these? Oh, uh, yeah. Master auto removals? Yeah, they got one. They, one the they probably have the main one, right? So let's see if we can find the main one. 11 more advertisers. Uh, this is Oak Park, Colorado Springs, Las Vegas. These guys are all over, right? Boca Raton? Let's find it. Oh, here, okay. 234 people follow this. Facebook. Um, let's see. Let's click on this one. Let's see what they're doing. No ads. They're, they're currently not running any ads right now. So they probably have some traditional advertising going on, right? Okay. So let's see. Let's search for my friend here, landscaping. Landscaping. So the first thing that shows up is... Uh, Cat landscaping and construction trades, 229,000 likes. Just for optimization of time, again, you guys can have some fun searching for this. All of it is here. Nothing is held back, right? You can just find it. If somebody's running advertising on Facebook or Instagram, you will be able to discover it here. I'm going to click on this one right here. It shows me the page. It tells me when it was created. This is cat landscaping and construction trades. They have, they're running 320 ads right now. Uh, and it tells you when they were launched. For example, this one over here. Uh, let me see if I open up this full screen. Okay, so this one says started running on December 22nd, so just last week. Uh, platforms, they're doing Facebook and they're doing Instagram. And it has several versions. And, uh, mm. So these ones are, what are they doing? Want to add an all-star to your team? Hit the link and sign up for a chance to win a free rental. Better than 10,000 US dollars. So they're, they're renting uh, equipment, right? So this is not the right audience for landscaping. But to give you an idea, you can search and you can find it all here, right? You can find it all of it. So obviously, these guys are, are, are promoting big, major rental equipment. So what's that? Caterpillar, exactly, right? So cat landscaping and construction trades, right? So this is uh, the mirror. Um, but look, even if, if you want to see what the video looks like, all you got to do is send your staff or yourself to spend some time doing this, and inf I ideas are going to start flowing. Musicians, uh, if you sell filters, water filters, if, if you are, have beauty creams, <laughs> it's endless, right? For example... Let's look at, let's find out if our brand Natural Slim is doing anything. Anybody wants to find out? Sure. Okay, good. So this is our brand, uh, Natural Slim. This is not us. This is us over here, but we don't do that. This one over here, this is us. This is my brand, all right? We built this one since 2009. Uh, it's a brand that we created in the USA that my dad and I, this is my father right here, okay? This is my father. Yeah, well... He, he talks about metabolism in Spanish, okay. and he has a channel with over 5 million subscribers on YouTube. He's the one that passed away this year, all right? He, does, he did seminars in English, too. He did a couple of seminars in English. You can find them on YouTube. Just search for Frank Suarez. Um, so check this out. Let's see. Uh, it says over here that because we're unable to determine your age, we can now show you this ad. You know why he's telling me that? Because I am not signed in to Facebook, all right? But... 
it shows me all the ads over here because I did not script this. I cannot show you exactly, but you get the idea. We're, we're seeing, look at that, 500 results. So this goes down the list, and you'll see images, videos, graphics, copy, landing pages. There's one that it allows me to see. For example, this one says, uh, Natural Slim Personal Program. I think there's a setting that we did that we don't want to target people that are under 18. So because of that, um, you need to be signed in. So Facebook can confirm that you are not a minor, and it can show you the ads, all right? It's a, a simple fix. This one apparently was targeted to any ages, and that's where we can see it, a simple, a simple explanation. So it says, if you want to have a good quality of life, if you want to eat healthy, if you want to uh, wear clothes that helps you feel better and, uh, and, and do better, you should join the Natural Slim Person Program. It's the best tool to help you out. So you can see this ad right here. You can click on it, and you can even visit the landing page. Oh, it's making me sign in. You see? So this is something that allows you to really, really just get inspired and get going, right? And just um, make a list of things that you want to create, uh, copy and paste some of the, some of the, uh, the, the text, because you're going to see on this thing, you're going to see call to actions. You're going to see call to actions. Like, for example, you see click here now, buy now. You're going to see what the landing pages look like, uh, all of it. So spend some time doing that, and that's going to help you start um, understanding what type of content you should be putting together, all right? So, again, we don't have more time to go over that. We should do a whole workshop on that. Anybody wants to do a workshop on reverse engineering? Okay, it's called, it's called reverse engineering, all right? That's what I call it, which is you want to you wanna see what other people did, and you want to try to find out things that you can do yourself. You want to repeat the process that somebody else did. It's like you want to, you know, um, take this computer apart and understand how they made this incredibly powerful machine. And then you can get your content going yourself. It's a great, great training uh, for, for you to make a list. What I do recommend, I've done this training in the past, you make a list of 20 of your competitors and research every single one of them. It's going to get your mind growing like crazy. You're going to get inspired. It's going to help you understand how to write your articles, how to do your blogs, how to make your videos, how to write your pages. How to depend. It's going to help you understand all of it, especially for brands that you know are successful and are established and they actually got attention, which is what you all need to be able to grow. No attention, no growth. You get attention, up you go, right? So if you have already brands that are getting attention, why not spend some time trying to understand what they did to get that attention? And off you go, right?